Before we get into this video, I'm just gonna be showing off the Notro client. If you don't know what the Notro client is, it's my own PVP client made by Frosty. This will be released on the 10th of September, 2021, also known as next Friday. Here's the mod menu here. Here are all the mods included with the client. And yeah, I'll go into the client a bit more next video. But yeah, put that in your diaries. Notro client, 10th of September, 2021. And yeah, let's get into the video. All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're gonna be checking out Linux and trying to run Minecraft on there. If you don't know what Linux is, it's basically another operating system, just like Windows and Mac, except this is probably like the biggest operating system there is. Loads of devices out there run Linux, but you just don't realize it. Yeah, it's a really kind of hassle-free, reliable operating system. A lot of people, myself included, thought Linux was just a bunch of code and you needed to be really clever to be able to use Linux, but it's not like that anymore. So Linux comes in many flavors or distributions or distros. So there are many distributions or distros of Linux that I'd recommend. So over here, we've got Pop OS, which is what I'm gonna be installing in this video. It's a really simple, easy to use version of Linux, and it's based off Ubuntu, which is like the most popular version of Linux. So we'll have lots of good app support. And yeah, it's just a really nice user interface in my opinion. Other distros I'd recommend is Manjaro. This is one that I use for a little bit. This one kind of reminds me a bit of Windows. So you've got like a taskbar down the bottom, you've got a start menu. We've also got Zorin OS over here, which if you can't run Windows 11, this would be quite a good replacement. It looks a lot like Windows 11, it's really sleek and really clean. Again, you've got a taskbar down the bottom here in a start menu. And you can also put these app icons in the middle if you want to run a Windows 11 like setup. And then we've got elementary OS. If you're a Mac OS fan, you've got your dock down here and some toolbars up here. So yeah, elementary OS is kind of like Mac OS. I think there's even skins out there that can make this look exactly like Mac. So yeah, you can choose any of these distros really. I'll leave them all in the description. Uh, and there's also a website called DistroWatch, which I recommend you guys go check out if you want to compare distros on there. There's loads of information on there. And again, I'll leave that all in the description down below. So yeah, like I said in this video, we're going to be installing Pop! OS. So we just need to go to their website then just press downloads. So I've got an NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm going to go ahead and download this NVIDIA version here. The requirements are 2 gig of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage and a 64 bit processor. Now, if you don't have these specs, you can check out other distros. I'm pretty sure Zorin OS has a light version here for older PCs. So you can go ahead and grab this. This is really nice. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and grab Pop! OS. I'm going to download for NVIDIA. All right, so once your ISO is downloaded, just go ahead and drag it onto your desktop like I've done here. And next up, you're going to need one of these things. This is a USB stick. I'm going to go with a SanDisk 32 gigabyte one. And then what you want to do is you want to plug your USB stick into your computer like that. And uh, yeah, next up, we're gonna burn this ISO file to our USB. Now to do that, we're gonna be using a open source program called Rufus. Then yeah, just go to their website, click on download. And yeah, this is the Rufus layout here. As you can see, it's already detected my 32 gigabyte memory stick here. Then we just need to select the ISO, which is the Pop! OS one that we just downloaded. I tend to leave all these settings here as standard. Anything that comes up, I just say yes or okay to. So yeah, we've selected our ISO, we've got a USB selected, then just press start. All right, so our USB has just finished and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and restart our computer and boot off our USB. All right, so I've just turned on my computer. I'm gonna go ahead and press F11 to get to our boot menu here and go down to USB. And then it will come up with a load of stuff on your screen. You just need to ignore this, just let it do its thing and the Pop! OS installation GUI should come up in a little bit. And here we are. So this is the Pop! OS kind of main screen here. So to set up Pop! OS, it's pretty simple. It's just a standard installer like there would be on Windows. And then here's how you can customize your install. So you can do a clean install, erase everything and install a fresh copy of Pop! OS, or you can do a custom one. Now this is if you want to run Pop! OS alongside Windows. So if you go on custom, then you can see your drives here. I don't actually have my Windows drive plugged in right now. But if I did, I'd just select the drive and then modify the partition, you know, create a space for it and select that partition and it'll install on there. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do a clean install. And then this is just to set up your user account. Now, Pop! OS actually offers you drive encryption, which is actually something that Windows doesn't include out of the box. 
So, uh, yeah, you can do this if you want. You want to be extra secure, you can, but I'm not for now, so I'm going to go ahead and not encrypt. So while this is installing, you can actually use Pop! OS. So you can actually go into these applications here. You can go into your settings. You can go on Firefox web browser if you want. Show your applications. Mess around with all the apps you've got. It's actually quite nice how you can actually use the OS while it's actually installing. But just be aware, you are actually running the OS off the USB right now. So when it does actually finally install on my drive, it'll probably be reset. Anyway, here we go. The installation has complete. So now we need to go ahead and just restart and finalize a few things. And here we are. We're on the welcome screen. Pop! OS has been successfully installed. So the first thing you want to do before you do anything on here is run your updates. So you need to go to the pop shop here. It's kind of like the Microsoft Store or the App Store on a Mac. You know, normally on Windows, you'd go to a website, download something and install a program from there. Well, you can do that on Linux. It's a little bit harder. You have to jump for a few hoops to get that installed unless it comes as an app image. But for the majority of popular applications, you can get them on the pop shop. So what we need to do is we need to run some updates similar to Windows updates just to get all our drivers and all our hardware all set up. So just go to installed here. We've got operating system updates. So just go ahead and press update and uh, it'll install them. Once all your updates are done, your display should go to its full resolution. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and install a few applications. So I'm going to go ahead and install OBS here. And yeah, the thing I love about Linux is to install an application, literally one click, no setup installers, no going next, next, next degree and installing a load of bloatware on your computer in the process. One click. It installs. Boom. All right, guys. So I just installed Minecraft on Pop! OS. It's been about a day. As you can see, I've changed my desktop wallpaper. Got a few applications from the Pop! Shop. Now, if you don't know how to get Minecraft on Pop! OS, all you need to do is just go ahead to go to the Pop! Shop and it should just search Minecraft in the search box. It's the first one that comes up. It's the flat pack version, which I'm running. So yeah, I just downloaded that, installed it logged in and yeah i'm playing vanilla minecraft 1.8.9 to start off with and then we're going to be going ahead and installing luna client and seeing how minecraft runs on there right so let's just go on a single player world here i just created just a single player creative world here so yeah we're running vanilla these are all my settings here I should probably put the brightness up vsync off maximum frame rate i'm recording off my capture card by the way i'm not using obs it's had a lot of issues getting OBS installed and set up on Linux. So I'm just using my capture card and boom, this is our FPS. Wow. Just flying around here in some pretty crazy biomes with lots of mountains and hills and stuff. Good 1000 FPS. Look at that. Wow. Let's just go into this cave here. Ooh, 900, 700. Yeah, and another thing is when I did try and record with OBS, my FPS was like literally halved, bro. I don't even know what happened. But yeah, look at this. 1,300, 1,600. We are looking up, I suppose. But yeah, we just go on top here. Yeah, this is really, really good. And bear in mind, this is vanilla as well. I don't even have Optifine installed. No kind of PvP client or any kind of mods. It's pretty insane, actually, how good it runs on Linux. Wow, look at this. Yeah, I'm really impressed with how this runs, honestly. This is really good. All right, so just head over to Luna Client's website and we're just going to go download it. Luna Client is for Linux. You just need to find it on their website. It's distributed as an app image. So what you need to do is just press download, press OK, and it should download. So once it's downloaded, just open it up from your downloads folder. You can't drag this to your desktop because it won't open up. If you have trouble opening it up, just right click on it, go to properties. Go to permissions and make sure you tick this box here allow executing file as program then you just right click on it click on run or just double click on it and the launcher should appear so yeah we're going to go ahead and launch 1.8 and see how minecraft runs on the lunar client all right so i've just opened up lunar client here i've just created a world and yeah i'm just leaving it all on default settings all default mods and stuff yeah let's throw on our fps hud and see what fps we're getting Let's just enable that here. Going to... I haven't used Lunar Client in ages. Wow. Yeah, let me just make that bigger. But yeah, so we're getting about 800, 1,500, 1,400 on just a single player creative world. Really impressed with that, actually. That's quite nice. 
We need to turn off clouds. They're really annoying. Let me just go ahead and turn them off. Let's go ahead and turn off fog as well because that's a bit ugly. Uh, yeah, that's made a bit of improvement to our FPS. Wow. Look at that. Let me just go to ground level here and just run around. 1,700. Yeah, I knew we'd be getting about 2K or just under 2K. But yeah, this is insane. Really, really like this. Anyway, let's go on a server, go and play some Bed Wars and uh, just see how we play. All right, so we just hopped into a Bed Wars game here and look at my FPS. Oh my God, 2,000. We are in the sky. I mean, Bed Wars is very sky based. So I'm expecting to be well into the 2000s here. All right, so we're using the default pack here. I should have downloaded a pack and put it on. It's pretty simple to do. It's basically exactly like doing it on Windows or Mac. But yeah, I just kind of forgot to do that. So yeah. And also I'm playing in 60 hertz as well. So if you guys have got a 144 hertz monitor, you know the struggles of going back to 60 hertz if you're so used to 144. But yeah, I think I'm kind of used to it. So yeah, let's see if we can try and win this game. Let's go full screen here. Get a sweat on. Right, let's go. Right, let's go and get red here. Hello. Ooh. Kind of hit me from the grave there. That was a bit weird. A speed bridge over there. I got so many comments. Ooh, why doesn't he speed bridge? Yeah, well, I can. It's just crack pixels really laggy. So if I do try and speed bridge, I'll probably get lagged back. But yeah, FPS check. We're getting about 1,500, 1,700. Pretty decent FPS. Oh, I forgot free look. They removed free look from Luna. I'm so used to doing that. All right, White's a final. I don't know where he is. All right, I found him. Here's our man. Let's just get him. Oh, there we go. GG. And that is a victory for me. So yeah, that was Bed Wars on Luna Client on Pop! OS or Linux. Yeah, it's a pretty boring game there. But yeah, we'll go ahead and play some Sky Wars. But yeah, really smooth gameplay on Bed Wars. Yeah, I'd highly recommend checking out Linux if you've got a bad PC out there or even a medium mid-tier range PC. You might be able to score yourselves some more FPS. All right, so I just hopped into a Sky Wars game here. We're going to be playing a bit of Sky Wars for a bit. Yeah, again, the good FPS continues. We're getting about 600, 700. Not as good as before, but still very playable. Like, I've seen comments on some of my videos of some people that said they can't even get 60 FPS. So, yeah, 500 is a bit excessive. Really silky smooth gameplay here. We've got, I'm not noticing any FPS drops or anything like that. It's going really good. I've also installed a texture pack now. I'm using Midnight 16X by Zuxt and Lushi. You guys should definitely go check it out. It's over on pvprp.com right now. Oh, yes, I got him just before he blocks himself in. Everyone's hiding from Notro Linux, man. Yep, let's just get you. GG. There are two people hiding in here. Is that a trap? Get you as well. All right, the last guy is here. He's trying to wash me out. If that was lava, that would have really worked. All right. Yep, you're off. GG. There we go. We've got five kills there. And we just fell off. I don't know what this is under the map here. What is this? But yeah, that was Skywars on Linux. Yeah, like I said, really playable, really smooth. Get a little bit less FPS than we do on Bed Wars, but I think that's just because of the map. But yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you want to go ahead and get Linux, I'll leave all the links in the description down below. Huge thanks to Tokyo for helping me write this video. He's a real Linux expert and any problems I had, I just messaged him and he helped me out. I'll leave his website in the description down below. He's made a little guide on how you can get all set up on Linux. But yeah, I definitely recommend checking this out. If you've got a low end PC or a laptop or something, just throw Linux on there and see how your Minecraft runs. You might get a bit more FPS or it might be really extreme like night and day difference. But even for someone like me, I've noticed quite a lot more FPS than compared to Windows. But yeah, thank you guys all for watching. Thank you guys so much for the support on my last video. Really does mean a lot. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.